this is Miami Beach, and it's quite a town. It's the richest 10-mile stretch of sand in the world. We have the simple things of nature, sun and sea and sand and tropical breezes. Anybody can go native in half an hour. The Chamber of Commerce modestly claims that each grain of sand is worth its weight in gold. I don't know about that, but I can tell you that for luxury, for fun, for excitement, there's no place in the world like it. I'm a special investigator for the Hotel Association. My name is Jeff Thompson. Most people think I'm a playboy. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Because I work without credentials in Miami Undercover. It is now six months since the article insured under policy number X3374 was stolen. And I am now in Miami Beach. If no tangible clues develop within the next two weeks, I shall be on my way to San Francisco. I'm sure the rest of the men in the field are keeping a close watch on all well-known art connoisseurs whom the thief or thieves might approach. Sign that very truly yours, Major Vance Hillary. Oh, excuse me. Well, Jeff Thompson. Come in, sir. Hi, Major Hillary. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. Oh, Miss Wheeler, thank you very much. Well, Thompson, how nice of you to drop by, sir. Making any headway? Headway? With what? Well, whenever a necklace worth half a million dollars is stolen, such as the Marquesa Emeralds, one man is always sure to be called in. Mm -hmm. But suppose we just say I'm enjoying a well-earned vacation. That's what I meant. Mm -hmm. Well, now, Thompson, what can I do for you? Well, you've been reading in the papers about the treasure found in an old Spanish galleon? Oh, yes, indeed. Very interesting. Any expedition run by a woman? Uh, Rita Dalzell. Uh, I met her through her diving team, a brother and sister, Tim and Terry O'Neill. Oh? She showed me one of the goblets encrusted with jewels. If they're valuable, she wants to insure them with your company. Well, writing insurance policies well, is She's a real me. beauty, Major. And she thought you might be curious. Yeah. Well, I... About herself or the jewel? Well, in either case, you can't lose. Yeah. You know, Thompson, I am a curious chap. I'll be right with you. Miss Dalzell? May I present Major Vance Hilder? Oh, very good of you to come, Major. Well, thank you. Please, come in. You know, Miss Dalzell, the Spanish doubloons fascinate me. Spanish goblets, Major. And crusted with glittering baubles. Mm -hmm. Thompson, I have a way. Oh. Rare and extremely valuable, I hope. <laughs> Cocktails, canopies, and Spanish gold in the night, gentlemen. Splendid. Now, uh, if you'll excuse me, I have some things to attend to. I'll check with you later about the appraisal. You sure you do that, Jeff? No, I'll, uh, I'll let myself out. <clears throat> Major, I, I think you have my cigarette lighter. Now what? Our plans are perfect. Much too perfect to have them ruined by Mr. Jeff Thompson. Oh, come on, Vance. He'll just think you're a fast worker. He spent four years with the FBI, and before that, three years during the war with G2. You mean you think he's dangerous? Yes, I most certainly do. Which could be most unfortunate for Mr. Jeff Thompson. <laughs>
gymnastics, a private lessons in skin diving, or a personally conducted tour of the beauties of the Carl Bank. I want a private conference. Let's go for it, shall we? Now you're talking, chum. Tim. Hi. Hey, boy. The man wants a conference. What's the gag? Gag? Yeah, yesterday Terry dragged me over to meet Rita Dalzell so I could introduce her to Major Hillary. Why? She told you. She wanted you to appraise the goblin. Well, why the introduction? She knew it. Man, you're way out. Way out. Oh, I took him up to her suite, introduced him, and I left. So far, so good. Thirty seconds later, I went back for my cigarette lighter, and I found him in a clinch. Good for the Major. You suppose he'd like some personal skin diving like that? Come on, this. Hey, this sounds screwy to me. You mean right off the bat they go into a hot clinch? I don't want you kids to get into any trouble. You better level with it. Sorry, no can do. We made a deal with Rita to keep our trap shut till she springs the story. A big spread in some national magazine. Yeah, a book, then maybe even a motion picture. That's what Rita says. That's why we bought up only part of the treasure, you know? Build up the suspense. Great publicity. That Rita really knows her stuff. I'm going to give you one more chance. How much is she paying you? Think this cat is trustworthy? Well, he did say some nice things about it. Five thousand bucks. Cash money. We're rich! So we hear no evil. See no evil? Speak no evil? Jeff, this is the most money we ever had in our lives. Besides, we promised we wouldn't talk. And when an O'Neill makes a promise, he keeps it. Especially when there's five thousand bucks in it. Okay. Short funeral. <laughs> I must talk to you as soon as possible. I'll be alone all evening. Excellent, Rita, my dear, excellent. Not only did you steal the emeralds, but you had them reset in perfect 14th century settings. Expert appraises treasures over a quarter of a million. Major Vance Hillary... Jewel and art connoisseur identifies treasures found by Rita Dolezal edition as 14th century Spanish. Well, that should bring all the wealthy art collectors knocking at my door in a hurry. Yes, and the price is $300,000, or you take them back to New York. How long ago did you call Thompson? About an hour ago. She'll be here most any moment. Oh, about the O'Neills, are they staying in line? Naive and eager. I'm their fairy godmother. They won't get out of line now. Or ever. Jeff. Jeff, have you seen the papers? Indeed I have. You got yourself a million dollars worth of publicity, thanks to the major. Congratulations. Maybe uh, we should drink a toast or something early. Why not? Brandy or absinthe? Brandy, please. Sorry, I haven't any snifters. I suppose you think I'd met the Major before? Correct. And you're wondering why I asked you to introduce him to me? Correct. I met the Major in Paris two years ago, and we became quite good friends. Mm -hmm. So when he saw in the papers that I was here, he telephoned. And I asked him to appraise the treasure for me. Because since you've been such good friends, the newspapers might have suspected collusion as far as his uh, appraisal was concerned. Yes. After all, he couldn't very well afford to... Uh... Of course not. I realize we should have been a little more discreet, but as I said before... You've been such good friends in Paris. Seconds? You do believe me, don't you? No. Paris in the spring. Romance. I envy the Major. Do you?
Yes? Will you? Part of my job. Thompson. Oh, no, I... I, uh, I can't get over there right away. What? There are... All right, all right, I'll be there. They wouldn't take no for an answer. When do we continue our little chat? Call me when you're free. I'll do that. Good night. There, Van. You see? I've got a right in my pocket. Yes, Rita. And in his pocket is your glass with your fingerprints on it, you stupid little half-wit. What do you mean? My fingerprints? Yes. Well, Lance, do something! Stop Come that on. and keep your voice down! That wasn't necessary, Vance. Now, you listen to me, Rita. There's a lot at stake here. One slip now and my entire career is ruined. I absolutely will not stand for any more hysterics. Is that clear? I'll control the hysterics. All right. How are you going to control Jeff Thompson? The moment the Dalton supposedly goes after the sunken treasure, I want Mr. Jeff Thompson on board. Well, he's suspicious of me. So that's your problem. I've had my problems before, dear. Tragedy off the key. Yacht Dolphin explodes. No survivors. Not even me. Well, you'd like that, wouldn't you? No, Rita, my dear. I need you here to dispose of the treasure. I'm afraid I can't get mixed up in that. Hiya, Jeff. Hi, Rock. Who's winning? Oh, uh, these tumble bumps can't fight. You know, I can lick the both of them right now. Listen, you come the guy from the club. Just when things were jumping. What's on your mind? You can do me a favor. I can. Be careful of this. There's a glass inside with fingerprints on it. Rita Dalzell's. What, you mean a dame that Terry and Simon mix up with? Yeah, I think she's a phony. I don't want those kids to get hurt. You mean it's some kind of hoax or something? Yeah, it could be. I want you to take this down to the police department and ask O'Malley to have the prints checked with the FBI. Well, maybe he ain't got a fingerprints. I think they might have. You know, I saw a picture in the paper. We could I use those fingerprints. <laughs> Listen, I'll see you later. Okay, right. Hey, how are you? How are you, Rock? How are you feeling? How are you? Good, good. Oh, there Hi, Jeff. Good. Hi, Hi, Jeff. We want to talk to Jeff. Privately. I can take a hint. I'll see you later. Come on. We want a conference. The conference is now in session. Shoot. We've been thinking, Jeff. You've always been so darn nice to us. Helped us buy the dolphin. Went on our note at the bank. And, well... Well, we feel like a couple of heels for not coming clean with you. Well, let's have it. Well, at daylight, we leave to go get the rest of the treasure. That's what it says in the newspapers. Only, only it's a dry run, because there never was any sunken Spanish galleon. You see, we'll go halfway to Biscayne Key. Stooge around for a few hours and be back at the dock at 4 p.m. to meet the press. With a couple more goblets are supposed to have salvaged from the wreck. Sounds like you're up to your ears in a con game. It is not, Jeff. Rita bought the goblets in Spain last year. They're genuine 14th century. That... Rita came clean with us when she made the proposition. You see, to get real dough for them, she needs a big ballyhoo. She offered us 2,500 cash to go along with the gag, and another 2,500 when she sells them. Just a smart sales promotion deal. It happens every day, and we get some great publicity. Our business should boom from now on. Well, why are you telling me all this? Well, in case it should get out about the hoax. Well, we got you into it, and, well... Well, we wouldn't want anything backfiring on you, Jeff. What are you going to do, Jeff? Well, nothing at the present. But if I were you kids, I'd pull out of this thing right now. But we can't. It's too late now. Rita's coming on board at 7 tomorrow morning. The press will be waiting on the dock at 4, and... Besides, we promised Rita. Well, for 2500 cash and 2500 when she sells the stuff. Well, this is dough we need. As I said before, it's your funeral.
Hicks, toast and coffee. How oh, pretty good to have around, huh? You were a wench, I'd keep you. I'll get it. Comes <laughs> in. Oh, Major. Awfully sorry to barge in on you so early, sir, but um, I'm rather concerned about those young friends of yours, the O'Neills. Huh? Sit down. Yeah. Why? But to be brief, as you guessed, I am here about the Marquesa Emeralds. What you may not know is that Rita Dalzell is my prime suspect. Oh, I thought she was supposed to be a good friend of yours. She believes I'm in love with her, therefore above suspicion. It's my job to keep her thinking so. Well, if you suspect her, why don't you have her arrested? The stones have flaws in them, Thompson. They're not the Marquesa Emeralds. I'll give her a little more rope. Oh. Okay, now what about the O'Neills? Rita is desperate. The O'Neills know too much. You mean she's after those kids? I believe she'll return with the story that the O'Neills died for the treasure and failed to resurface. Frock, we'll get him at the dock. Come on, Major. Afraid I can, Thompson. While Rita's on that boat, I'm going through her suite. Major told us. What better way to get us all on board? Something's going to happen to this boat. Tim, you and Terry get in the other boat. This thing could blow any minute. Tim, you and... Hold a chunk. This boat isn't insured, and nobody's blowing it up. What does the bomb look like? Come back here, you. Oh, she's right. What does it look like? Oh, it would be uh, an oblong box, and it would be kicking. 
Who wants a beer, hero? Hey, come here, Rock. Uh, wait a minute. If we're going, let's go together. Now, well, it's fine, sir. Here she goes. 